New at 11, it's been the talk of an Indianapolis neighborhood since July. A fire hydrant with a hose attached spewing water for no apparent reason. And neighbors want to know what's up and who's paying. Tonight, we take a closer look at the problem and explain how we are getting to work to get answers for you. For months, during the daytime or the nighttime, the water has been gushing from this hose connected to this hydrant on the corner of Fletcher Ave and Harlan Street. Seemed like a waste of water to me. People who live in this Fountain Square neighborhood have questions. Who's going to be paying for this? Who's going to fix the repairs of where it's washing away the bricks here? This is an older road. It can't just be paved. Who's responsible for it and why is the water being wasted like that? That's Wanda Cochran, one of several neighbors who have taken to social media, posting pictures of the hydrant and the hose, sharing concerns. Wondering why so much water is being wasted. Wondering what happens to the brickwork being eroded away. Wondering why the hose is blocking part of the street. One of the concerns for neighbors is what happens to all this water once the temperatures dip below the freezing point. The other night we come through here it was ice. We got people that come through here on bikes and lime scooters and bird, bird scooters. If they don't see it, they're going to slip and get injured and then who's will be responsible. This sign provides a slight clue. It reads, water testing in progress, do not disturbed, with the Citizens Energy logo. So far, it's been unclear to neighbors what Citizens is testing for or why it has been necessary to test the water since midsummer. I don't know, I mean, I don't know if they're testing it or, or what. So we reached out to Citizens Energy, bringing those questions and concerns, and we heard back this evening. Citizens says this is what's called a water quality bleed, a process to make sure water quality is maintained. Citizens also told RTV6, quote, this particular area has experienced changes in water usage over the years to the point that we need to periodically run hydrants to prevent stagnation in the water mains in the area. The long-term remedy will be making piping modifications, but that is a much more expensive alternative than running hydrants during certain parts of the year, end quote. Citizen says it will end this water quality bleed either late this month or early December. It will also send a crew to make sure the hose no longer blocks the street.